Hey, sis. Can I talk to you for a sec? What is it? I feel like mom and dad have become cold lately. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's because I told them that you're useless at home. What? Why did you say that? Because it's true. You don't stand out at school and you don't do anything at home either. That's not true. I work hard in my own way. Hmm. But mom and dad believe me, so I don't think anything you say will help. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me? Mean? I'm just telling the truth. I think the house would be better if you were gone. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot to tell you something. I took your precious bag. What? Why did you do that? Because it looks better on me. Mom thinks so too. Even mom? That's terrible. Oh, and by the way, your boyfriend Jason is actually my boyfriend now. What does that mean? I guess he liked me better after all. Maybe you weren't attractive enough. I can't believe it. Well, it's just another reality. You should move out after high school. Mom and Dad will be happy to see you go. You're miserable being with me anyway, aren't you? Sis, that's too much. Why would you say that? Am I not part of the family? Family? Don't make me laugh. You're a burden. The house would be brighter without you. That's what mom and dad said too. I see. So that's what they were talking about. Okay, I'll leave after high school. I'll live on my own. I'll be happy on my own for sure. Hi, how are you? What is it all of a sudden? Who is this? What do you mean, who? I'm your sister. I don't have a sister. It's me, Sophia. Okay. I haven't heard from you for nine years. As your sister, I was worried about you. I don't have a sister. I mean, I have no family and I'm all alone. I'm sorry, I have to go. Wait a minute! What's with your attitude? You have a family, remember? Your own sister's the one who is texting you right now. You're a slow learner, aren't you? Can't you see that I don't want to talk to you? What's the matter with you? That's terrible! So, I'm going to ask you one more time. What do you want? If you were just texting to kill time, I'm leaving since I'm quite busy. Oh, wait a minute. I have to tell you something. I'm busy, as I said, so can you make it quick? That kind of impatience is probably why you're not popular with guys. What? Your husband's name is Robert, right? So? I knew you got married six years ago. I thought whoever married you would be nothing special, so I didn't even care. But six months ago, I happened to see him walking with you. I was like, why would someone who looks like a model go out with you? And we hooked up the next day. We were seeing each other frequently after that. Oh yeah? I kind of thought you were going to say that. You're not surprised? Robert and I got divorced today. He was saying he met the woman of his dreams. He found true love or something like that. But I guess he was talking about you. Well, that makes perfect sense. Wow! I didn't know you two already got divorced. We sure did. I've already decided where I'm going to live after the divorce. And I'll be on my way there tomorrow morning. If you're going to live with Robert... You'll have to do it after tomorrow afternoon. I understand. I guess you think you're no match for me. Well, 
Mom and Dad love me because I'm the only one who's beautiful. That's why they gave up on you. And you had to leave the house as soon as you graduated from high school. It's the same thing this time. That's what Robert means by true love. I was the one who Robert really loves. And that's why you're leaving. He loves me so much that I don't know what I would do. I guess I'm too beautiful, but don't hate me for that. I understand. But let's see if that love lasts. I hope whatever you just said is not going to come back at you. Is that a threat? You're really funny, you know that. Thank you for seeing me happy. Sooner or later, you'll realize it. Your way won't make anyone really happy. Don't make me laugh. There is nothing wrong with my way. I'll live happily with Robert. Hey, Aria. What's this all about? What is it? I'm busy cleaning up the new house. You didn't tell me something important. I didn't tell you what? That Robert had a child? You didn't know that? I didn't ask, and he didn't tell me, so how would I know? I went to his house in the afternoon to bring some stuff to move in, and there was a little boy in the living room watching TV. The one with the handsome face? Yes, that boy. I'm pretty sure that's his son, Jack. Don't mothers usually take their kids with them after divorce? Not necessarily. In this case, it was only natural for Robert to... leave we already registered a marriage certificate isn't it too soon then it's none of my business and I'm busy cleaning up can't you do something about it you should take the kid I don't want to be with a guy who has a kid I can't you married him so you should be responsible for his son as well it's none of my business I'm a stranger Besides, I just started a new life. I have no reason to help you when you're in trouble. Oh no! I was going to start a new life with Robert. I didn't even think about taking care of a child. I don't care what you say. That's the reality. Marriage is about accepting everything about the other person. I don't think you're capable of that. Liar! You're terrible! Do I really have to live with a child? Since you married Robert, isn't it natural? Jack is part of your family now. You can't run away from him. Hey, Aria! What is it with you? How many more secrets did you hide from me? What now? I've been told that I have to leave this house at the end of this month. I'm already a stranger to you and Robert. Don't be so silly and explain. I can't believe it. Why do I have to explain? I guess Robert is still not telling important things to you, huh? So what is it? That house is company housing for the company I work for. What? Company housing? Robert is an employee of a different company. I'm an employee of the company, so it's company housing that I'm allowed to rent. How can he continue to live there if I'm gone? Seriously? And let me tell you something else. The rent was kept at about 10% of the market rate because it was company housing. But from now on, you better be prepared for the fact that it won't be like that. So we would be fine if we just move into company housing at Robert's company, right? 
His company doesn't have a company housing program. There isn't? That means you have to rent a normal apartment and pay the market rate. How much is that going to be? If you were to rent an apartment with similar conditions to what you have now, I guess it would cost about $2,000. Does it cost that much? I just looked it up about six months ago out of curiosity, but I think it's still like that. I don't know where you're moving to, but Robert is an ordinary businessman with a very average income. We were both working and now I'm gone. He'll be spending more money on rent. And on top of that, his household income will be significantly reduced. Huh? You should have a thorough discussion with Robert and Jack about the possibility of a lower standard of living in the future. A lower standard of living? There's one more thing. I will take all the money we saved as a couple in this divorce's alimony. And for your information, Robert really doesn't have much money left with him. What? By the way, he earns less than I do. Are you serious? Well then, I still have to clean up my new home. Oh, um... Well, bye. You'll have to take care of the rest yourself. I won't get involved anymore. Don't say that! I have no idea what to do! Think for yourself. You're an adult. From now on, you're responsible for your own actions. Don't expect me to help you anymore. But Robert and Jack both need me. Then you have no choice but to fulfill that responsibility, right? That's what being a family means. There is no way out. It's the path you chose. Hey, Arya! What is it this time? I told you I'm out of the picture. Aren't you forgetting something very important? I'm not forgetting anything in particular. You're forgetting something big. What? Child support. Huh? You have to pay child support for Jack. It's your responsibility as a mother, right? Huh? $100,000 for child support. You have to pay for it. I'm not going to pay for child support. What? What do you mean? I'm not obligated to pay child support for Jack. Huh? That's irresponsible. You should fulfill your responsibility as a mother. Didn't you hear anything from Robert? About what? First of all, you should have a proper talk with him. This is something that needs to be explained from Robert and not me. He's your child, so you better pay for it. Why do I have to pay child support for Jack? There's no way I can pay that much. But that's the reality. I told you, marriage is about accepting everything from your partner. How am I going to pay $100,000? Of course it's impossible. That's not my problem. You'll have to take care of it yourself. I think Robert is in trouble too. Of course he's in trouble. Because it's his responsibility to take care of Jack. I live with them too, you know. That's your choice, right? So you have to fulfill that responsibility together, don't you? Oh, no. It's your job to figure out what to do. You're an adult now. You're supposed to figure it out on your own. Don't say that. That's enough. I don't want to be involved anymore. But isn't it your fault that Robert didn't say anything? No, that's his problem. It's not my problem. Hey. You're my sister. You're responsible for helping me. I have no obligation to help you. I already broke off the relationship with you. And I'm the one who was abandoned by my family. 
Both Robert and Jack will be in trouble without me. Do something about it. Then fulfill that responsibility. That's what being a family means. I really can't believe you. You know, having a family isn't just about having fun. It's about overcoming difficulties together. So you have to go your own path, the one you've chosen. You've been talking so big for a while now. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm going to tell you one more time. First, you and Robert need to have a thorough discussion. I think you have to support each other and solve your problems together. Aria, I still haven't received the child support that you were supposed to pay. I'm sure you can afford $100,000 for your son, so hurry up and pay it. What? Don't you understand that I am not obligated to pay? When I asked Robert about it, he said we should take it from you, and I agreed too. So hurry up and pay the $100,000. Tell that to his real mother. What? What do you mean, take it from me? You're being too naive to take money from a stranger like that. What are you talking about? All right. I really thought Robert should tell you first, but it seems like he's not going to, so let me tell you the truth. So what? Jack is not my son. What? Jack is Robert's illegitimate son. Illegitimate son? Jack is the illegitimate child of Robert's unfaithful lover. A year ago, Robert brought him home out of nowhere because the mother had suddenly disappeared. That's when I first found out about Jack. Oh my god! That's why we've been struggling for the past year to get a divorce. Well, Jack is not to blame, so I fed him and did laundry and everything for him. Robert and I were almost living as if we were living in a different house. Seriously? For Robert, he would lose some money for living expenses if we get divorced, as well as the house. That's why it was so hard to get him to agree to a divorce. Then someone came in. It's you. What? Thanks to Robert awakening to the idea of true love, the divorce process went smooth. And that's the truth. What? No way! Are you saying that it was lucky for you that I took Robert away from you because it helped the divorce? Yes, that's right. Let me back up. As for the child support, I didn't adopt Jack. Robert has the custody of Jack, so I'm not obligated to pay child support as a divorced woman. No way! I thought that child support from you would make my life a little easier. So that's what you're trying to do. You know, the other day, we started living in a cheap apartment. The three of us are sleeping in the same bed, so I can't make out with Robert. There's no privacy at all, and Jack doesn't listen to me at all. I hate it! Then I guess you'll have to get a divorce. If I do that, I won't have a place to go. Let me guess. Did you go against mom and dad and got married to Robert and then moved out of their house? I'm sure they don't like Robert since he was married to me, a useless daughter. How did you know that? I thought that would be the only reason why you can't go back to their house. Aria, I'm getting a divorce, so I'm going to live with you at your place. No way. Why? I moved to the company dormitory. They have a rule that they don't allow non-employees to live here. I can only depend on you. Do something. Sis, you... Instead of relying on other people's income and whining about it, have you thought about working for yourself? What? Why? If the husband's income is not enough, then the wife has no choice but to work. Huh? If you really want to get divorced, you have to be prepared to work and live on your own. If you want to stay married, be prepared to support your husband financially. But... 
This is what happens when you live like a loser in this world, you know that. What the? I don't... If you don't understand, think until you do. I'm not nice enough to tell you everything. Sis? Um... Don't try to depend on me. Bye-bye. Aria, help me! Robert is saying he's divorcing me. Yeah, what happened? Robert said he can't take my attitude anymore. He said that if I can't accept Jack, then we can't continue our relationship. I know, but you chose this path, didn't you? Yes, but I don't know what to do. Please help me. I told you, didn't I? There's no reason for me to help you. I told you to take responsibility for your own choices. But I'm in real trouble. I don't even know where to live. I have no money to live on. All of that is a result of the path you chose. It's the result of you choosing Robert and not accepting Jack. Of course. I can't live in such poverty. So you have to help me. No, I'm not going to take care of you. I lost my family because of you. How am I supposed to help you? How am I supposed to live now? Well, I don't care. Are you really not going to help me? No, I really don't want to help you. I think I want to end this with you. Oh no, you're my sister, right? Please, help me! I have no parents and no sister. Well then... Aria, wait! After that, even though the divorce from Robert was finalized, she was unable to rebuild her life on her own. She had never worked a proper job before, so she did not know how to make ends meet. Apparently, life with Robert did not go well, and that's when she decided to divorce him. She tried to return to her parents' house again. Her parents had completely abandoned her. She was supposed to live alone in a cheap apartment. Difficult. However, she's living a lonely life with no help from anyone. Her relationship with her parents has never been restored, and they are now completely estranged. I am now enjoying my new life. My work is good and I have a good relationship with the people around me. I plan to enjoy living alone for a while with the help of people at work. 